Okay, here is the house on 15 or 5015 West Markwood Avenue that I just purchased and it is directly across the street from my house as you can see it's my house is right over there so I'm gonna do a quick tour this is what the house looks like I've, <clears throat> it's as is but I think it'll repair nicely for the most part so we're gonna come in everything is all brick Looks like the windows are the uh, new windows. They're the double hung. They certainly appear to be in very good shape. Okay, we're coming through the front door here. This is the den or the family room. As you can see, it needs a uh, it needs a good carpet cleaning. I happen to know a very good carpet cleaner who can certainly take care of this this is the bay window up front it looks like not bad a decent size uh, family room not any major damage in here a few little holes here and there nothing major in this room but believe me it gets worse uh, here's the kitchen and uh, it's just one long uh, border wall there. The cabinets appear to be in very good shape. They don't seem torn up. Everything seems to uh, be in reasonably good shape. Um, the spigot does need to be replaced. There's no, no faucet there. The floors are the... Uh, the laminated wood, which I love. I love carpet, but the laminated wood is much easier to maintain. And walking out towards the side of the house here, here's another bedroom on the end of the home here. This used to be a garage, and they turned it into a, a bedroom. Looks like a master bedroom. There's a bay window out front there, and as you can see, all of the uh, all of the windows have been completely completely redone. They're all sealed. And these are nice windows, actually. Okay, so. Uh, this will lead into the back of the house, the backyard, which we'll go to in just a few minutes. This is the furnace area. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need a, some service done on that. So hopefully it'll check out okay. We don't want to buy a new furnace if we don't have to. But everything seems to be in reasonably good shape. Okay, now we'll walk through the kitchen here into the hallway and to the right is one bath and it's a tile floor. The tile seems to be in very good shape. It needs a good cleaning but it seems to be in very good shape. This is the uh, shower. Obviously everything needs a good cleaning in here. But for the most part, everything seems to be in, in good shape. Again, new windows all throughout the house. Um, as you can see, everything's been winterized. Um, here is the vanity. Very large vanity for this bathroom and only one sink. But hey, if it works, it works. Hey everybody. <laughs> uh, there's a little closet in the hallway here. Little coat closet. And coming down, first room on the left. This is where we start getting into some damage. They uh, apparently weren't happy about having to leave the home, so they decided to bust a few holes in the wall. 
closet here. Everything seems to be in reasonably good shape. A couple of holes in the door. <clears throat> and this is where it starts getting a little worse. <clears throat> But nothing too bad um, this is facing the front of the house again new windows and this is where they apparently just got really upset and decided to kick a few holes in the wall you can actually see the other bedroom from that side but again nothing major that I can see nothing a couple of sheets of sheetrock won't fix up in a in a jiffy no uh no leaks or apparent roof damage and now there's two bedrooms on each side this one and this one right side left side let's go on the left side and this is uh the other side of that damage that we're looking at and again as you can see they were obviously upset by having to leave we're gonna have to put a, a new box, you know, right here. But uh, yeah, sheetrock, uh, some sheetrock will take care of it. Here's another little place by the closet that can easily be fixed with some sheetrock. Another hole in the closet, and. Uh, This room is the worst of them all, and again, even at the worst of them all, I don't see uh, I don't see anything major wrong. This one does have a cracked window, which is free to replace through Window World because they rock. Carpet seems to be in good shape. Again, nothing that uh concerns me too much everything there doesn't seem to be any pet smells in here so that's a good thing everything else can be clean and here is the other room that's in the that's coming out of coming off this other one and it's a small room and as you can see this is the only area here that I saw that they kind of went a little crazy with Closets. I'm gonna probably need to put the doors back on the hinges or put some new hardware in there, but it seems to be okay. The doors absolutely need to be taken off and repainted, redone. This is the hot water heater, and it is looks like it's virtually brand new. Whether it is or not, I don't know, but it looks brand new. Okay. So now we're going to take a walk outside. And here we are walking through our kitchen. And we're going to walk outside here. Now it has a little outdoor sunroom that's for some reason I guess somebody thought it was okay to put that's right a washer and dryer hookup I'm not exactly sure why they put it outside but it just doesn't seem like it's gonna be uh, the smartest thing to do during the uh, Indiana winters but uh, we will certainly address that when time time comes but uh, again, everything looks reasonably well. All the windows look to be in good shape and nothing's cracked or broken. And uh, this is the outside, the back of the house.
all brick. The home's all brick. It was built in 1960, I believe. And uh, the house itself caught on fire about three, maybe four years ago. And they completely rebuilt it. So it's got a new roof and uh, a lot of new stuff inside. There's a new roof there. Everything looks really good with it. Okay, and it's got a very large backyard, all things considered. Very, very large backyard. It's not as large as mine, but it's certainly a large backyard. Perfect for any kids. It's a very good community, very good neighborhood. And believe it or not, this house has a two car detached carport. Now, I'm not a big fan of carports. I like my carports attached, hence making them a garage. But this one is <clears throat> a little bit different. It has a door, a brand new door, I might add, on the front and on the back as well so it's a dually door and it is huge I'm not sure what this camera is picking up but it is absolutely huge you could easily park three or four vehicles in here easily without question So, and there you have it. That's, uh, that is what the garage looks like. It's got dual uh, electric door openers on each side. It's in good shape. It's not beat up or torn up or moved out. And, uh, and there you have it. So, hopefully, uh, this will turn out to be a very good investment property for me. Now we're just waiting on a main inspection, so barring any major delays or problems like that, or unforeseen expenses such as, uh, you know, all new plumbing and wiring, which we don't anticipate happening, um, it should be uh, it should be a very good sound investment, I think. Again, all brick. Got a nice long driveway. Best part, right across the street's my house. So, nice front yard. Have to get rid of these bushes, but I think the Indiana heat this summer is going to do that for me. And there you have it. So, this is. 5015 West Markwood Avenue.